Even if you're angry at someone in your family, you should never push, punch, kick or shove. You could really hurt or injure the person, besides causing him or her to get angrier and the argument to get even worse. Number three, pick someone to talk to. A parent, grandparent or a friend can be a good person to talk to. It's easier than you think. You can start by going to the person and saying, can we talk for a minute? Then say how you feel and why. Let the other person listen. Maybe they will give you advice. Just saying how you feel and why helps you start to feel better. It helps to know you are not alone with a problem or worry. Number four, when, ha when you have a conflict with your parent, it's hard to believe it, but your parents were once kids too. It might seem like they don't understand you, but don't give up. Remember that they don't really want to make things difficult for you. Your parents care about you, but sometimes it's just hard for them to easily see your point of view. Number five, when you fight with a brother or sister. Is your little sister always taking your stuff? Is your big brother always picking on you? If you're fighting with your brother or sister, a lot of competing for attention from your parents. It's completely natural to get into arguments with your brothers and sisters. If you're really bothered by it, you might want to talk to them about what's going on. Most of the time, your brother or sister will listen because deep down, even though they don't like to admit it, they really do like you and don't want to fight either. Number six, saying you're sorry. Saying you're sorry is called apologizing. When you apologize, you're telling someone that you're sorry for the hurt you caused, even if you didn't do it on purpose. People who are apologizing might also say that they will try to do better. They might promise to fix or replace what was broken or take back a mean thing they said. How does it make you feel? When you apologize to someone and really mean it, it's because you have stopped to think about how the person may have felt because of what you did or said. When you stop to think about the other person's feelings, you begin to feel sorry for your behavior. You might even feel embarrassed or ashamed if you did something that you knew was wrong. Even if it happened, whatever happened was an accident or you did something you didn't mean to do, you would probably still feel sorry if you knew the other person's feelings were hurt. 